You can lie all you want. We know the truth. When my father tried to expose you for insider trading, you had him taken out. I think that's enough. Yeah, maybe we should get going. No, you're not going anywhere. I want to hear this. What exactly are you accusing me of? I have a transcript of an interview from a former employee of yours. It is clear this office would do anything to save itself from getting caught in that scandal. And knowing what my father knew, as soon as I get confirmation from this employee, the whole world is going to know what you did. You're accusing a sitting U.S. senator of murder? We could have you arrested right now. You just gave the order and let Sabino do your dirty work for you. You think Louis Sabino murdered your father? On my order? Why else would you have paid him a hundred grand right after Liam's dad was killed? Because he runs a cancer foundation, one to which I donate every year. Maybe he kills someone for you every year. Okay, we're done here. I need to get back to my guest. Katie, will you? Wait, what about the hack? We know you've been reading Liam's emails. How do you explain that? I can explain. Our security team has been monitoring Mr. Ridley's email account, but only after he began stalking the senator. We deemed him a credible threat and got a warrant for limited surveillance. I'm a threat? I'm supposed to believe my father just fell off the boat and drowned. I knew your father, Liam. We were friends, but he made some questionable choices and questionable friends. When the SEC came after him, things got dark. You can probably remember. There was no conspiracy and no murder. Just a man at the end of his rope and a tragic accident. I know it would be easier if, they had, if there was someone to blame it on. Now, because of who you are, I'm going to have security escort you off the premises. And we can forget this ever happened. Unless you'd rather go to jail. We're good. Thank you, Senator. And Ms. Carrington? I'll be looking forward to that donation. Right. The check is in the mail.